not that I've envisioned that I'd be back with the Panthers, but yeah, I've you know I've always thought that there was uh, there was something something there that and that I could come back to to the Panthers. Um, um, I I I know that the, the team has been doing really well in in, in the past year, and made it to the finals. You know, came up short. Um, so I wanted to be a part of that group for sure, and I knew that uh, we could do some good things. The right side, Doug. Now, for each of you guys, I know they always say the, the fourth win in a playoff series is the toughest one to get, but you guys have a chance now to close this thing out at home. How excited are you to see the way that the, the building is going to be reacting when you guys get back home, and, and uh, how excited are you for this, this opportunity coming up? Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, like, they, like you guys have said, the, the team went through it last year, and, and um, to be able to, to go through it for the first time this year would be uh, pretty special. And um, we've had some great turnouts throughout this playoff so far. And um, obviously, these guys bring a boatload of fans too that, that makes it interesting. And um, you know, when they score goals, you can definitely hear them uh, cheering and screaming as well. But uh, just the energy in the in the building overall, whether it's for us or against us, uh, we thrive off that. So we're excited to, to see you next game. Uh, for Cooley, just looking at this series, it seems like your periods are the thir- your best periods are the third periods. You guys have such good legs late in games. Why do you think that is? Is that just kind of how your game builds throughout a game? Is it conditioning? What do you kind of point to for uh, that reason? Um, yeah, I think like you said, um, just conditioning and the kind of shape we're in. Um, we build as the game goes on, um, and we also wear wear teams down with uh, with our pressure and with our style of play. Um, and uh, I think that comes into play in the, in the second and third period. Um, so I think, like, like you're right, yeah, it's obviously the the shape that we're in and, and, and uh, the style of play that we play. From the left. Steven or, or, or Dimitri, just how you guys, they're going to obviously be desperate tomorrow facing elimination. How do you kind of match that desperation, you know, just because obviously you have to try, try to, to close them out? I think we've seen it uh, a couple times already that you can't just uh, let your foot off the gas. Obviously, these are the hardest games to win, and um, especially at this point in the playoffs, nobody's, you know, expecting an early summer. Everybody's going, you know, um, as hard as they can right to the final whistle, right to the final buzzer, and um, there's going to be no easy games, obviously, from here on out, and, and we knew that uh, from the start of playoffs. So um, this is obviously a team that had a lot of success throughout the regular season, a team that knows how to win, and um, you know we're not expecting them to come in here and, and, and give a flat performance. Um, we're expecting that they're going to throw everything they got at, at us and, and more. And um, like you said, we're just going to try and come out and match that. And um, like Cooley was just talking about, we're going to try and hopefully wear them down. And we obviously know that. Um, the style of play that we've been bringing is, is given us success, and uh, as long as we stick to that game plan and don't really stray away from that, then I think we'll be all right. Right side, second round. For either of you, we've spoken to a couple of your teammates over this run, and they've said how close of a group this is. And Paul said the same thing, where like every one of you guys likes each other. What makes you guys gel so well? And I mean, is this? Have you been on a team where guys click this well? What? <laughs> no, I think um, winning obviously it, it helps, but it starts at day one of training camp when uh, I think when Mo sets the standard of, of how hard things are going to be. It's not always going to be the most fun, but um, when you see a group of guys buy in, um, it doesn't matter what your background is or where you come from, where you've played before. Um, as long as you got you know that certain or that number of guys, whether it's twenty, twenty-five guys or whatever we got pulling on the same rope. Um, Eventually, you all come together and, and um, you know, you form bonds and, and friendships that, uh, that last a lifetime. And the further we go and, and, and the deeper we go in this playoff run, the, the more time we spend together with each other at the rink, away from the rink, um, you know, being in hotels like this, we're all cooped up and uh, your families aren't here, but, you know, you got the boys in the lounge, you can go just play cards and stuff like that. It, it's little things like that that, that go a long way. And, um, like I said, that those just those those bonds develop, not just on the ice and on the bench, but it's it's when you come back from the rink and and you kind of break the game down and and you talk to your buddies about it and you know laugh at the mistakes you made and um, that's kind of what what brings guys out of their shells and and, and brings guys together. We'll take two more questions front left. Uh, Cooley, uh, you know, Bill Guerin always says that the worst moment that he's had in Minnesota was calling you to 
to tr- to tell you that that you were traded, and you know, just because of w- what you did in Minnesota and things like that, to to bounce around the way you have the last couple of years, but play as well as you are right now in in this playoff run, like just how gratifying is it to be in this position where maybe you were a couple of years ago? I, it's really nice to be in the position that uh, to be in, in a good team like this and having a run um, at the cup. Um, that's all I can say. It's it feels good. Uh, last question, last Stephen. You mentioned uh, the energy at home. I'm curious if you can sense when the building on the road gets a little quiet, like it did in the third after you scored. Is that something that you guys also feel on the bench and on the ice? I'd be lying if I said no. That that kind of deafening. You you can feel the wind almost get taken out of their sails, and um, you know that's not. Uh, Obviously, this crowd in this city—it's—it's—it's it's, it's incredible. Playing at MSG when the whole the whole uh, crowd lights up and the anthem's going on—it's it, special. It gives you chills, and you know you can either be intimidated by that or you can uh, you can feed off that as well. Like I said, energy's energy, and um, it's a great rink to play in. So um, when they sustain some pressure and the, the building gets to life, uh, it's it's cool to be a part of. If you if you try not to let it get to your head and just say, you know what, this is. This is special. Enjoy the moment and, and just do your job. And um, eventually you get a break. And, and when that energy kind of dies and you just hear the guys on our bench jumping up and down and, and celebrating that goal, then, you know, that's uh, it's a pretty cool feeling. It's one that's hard to describe. But uh, um, it, was a, it was pretty cool to be a part of yesterday, uh, a late goal like that, that uh, you could kind of feel that, that life come out of the building a little bit.